going to court today. You won't get this video till after the fact. Depending on how things go, I may or may not drink afterwards. I have to go to the mall anyway. I had a dentist appointment yesterday. I went to the mall yesterday and I returned the undies that, um, I forget if I told you in a video or not, that I had it's not my fault. They were marked French cut, and I only buy French cut, and it turned out they were not French cut, which I didn't realize immediately. I opened it up. But in any case, I talked to a manager and explained, you know, the situation and how I had I bought different sizes and blah blah whatever. And, and, and I wound up. It was fine. She let me. The sale wasn't going on anymore. I was at 25% off the jockey, but she let me. It, exchange one thing but I just returned the underwear and then I did it. I'm like, wait a minute, it's not selling anymore. that I need to exchange them. And then she was nice enough to let me buy two sets with a discounted price of 25 percent off. But she didn't have to do that, but it was nice of her to do that because I, because I had tried to buy them at a different mall and it just hadn't worked out. It got in the wrong size and I had to return them and blah. And then this wasn't my fault. They were actually tagged wrong, like it was a staple that was attached, and it said French cut at once, and, you know, and, and it, it was the wrong thing, it was not French cut, and so yeah, that happens sometimes, so, but then, on the one day sale I had purchased, um, pants, jeans, for half price, um, my mom, and I, my mom got to Prince Prince too for half price style and company, fantastic deal, but I'm not in a 14. I tried on the 14s quickly and didn't realize that I really need to be in a 12. Because jeans should be a little, little tiny bit snug anyway, because they loosen up as you wear them. And I tried on the 12s yesterday, and I need to be in the 12s. And I said, I said, can I, if it's the same style, same size, but I'm not sure what I have at home. I don't know if I have modern boot or boot. I'm like, can I get these modern boot anyway? And they're like, oh yeah, it's fine. And they were willing to hold them 24 hours. A lot of places will only hold it to that evening, and that's it. Nope, they'll hold them 24 hours for you. So I'm going to go back today after court. I am not going to ask Auntie to drive me. Um, I mean, if, I, if she wants to, but I'm not going to ever go out her way when I get up on the bus. Um, or hop on a few consecutive buses, as the case may be. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm not going to ask her to go out of her way, especially, you know, who knows how long the court thing's going to last, and she's going to want to get home, and I'll just want to get home, I'll just say, that's fine, I'm going to go catch the bus, I'm used to it. I don't ask people for favors unless I really, really need said favor, and I nearly, I need to wear these. I wore them last night, and no itching. I think I, I, usually the first night I wear them's okay, but then if I wear them a subsequent night, you know, I run into difficulties, so it, I really don't want to have to wear them at all, because it'll wind up being expensive if I can only wear them once and then have to discard them, you know. Um,
therapist is so nice. She's like, she knows um, going to court. And she's like, she's like, you know, you can call me if you want. I'm thinking, we don't want to open that can of worms. That's how I got in trouble with my last therapist because I was calling and leaving messages on her voicemail when I was going through just absolute, you know, every time I turned around it was something else and I would leave voicemails and I vowed to never do that again with any therapist, you know. It's too tempting. But she, she said if I wanted to call her, I could. Obviously you won't be getting this video until after. After I've gone to court, after more shit happened that I'm not allowed to share out here, you know, the drill. All sucks. Everything sucks. Just isn't a sign if I'm ever in a relationship with a guy again. A deal breaker is horror movies. I will never, ever watch a horror movie with said guy. I will not go to movies. I will not even watch a DVD. So, I would never be with any guy who just can't do without, you know, horror movies. Unless he wants to watch them with his friends. I got upset just now. I'm trying to close down YouTube, okay? I just watched part, watched one of my videos and then a part of one. Um, enough to know that it needs to be age-restricted and I can release it publicly. And stupid. I'm like, I'm trying to close it down. It's all I want to do and go to bed. And all of a sudden, this faceless woman is coming towards me. I'm like, what the fuck is that? And they were advertising insidious, insidious, whatever that is, but I don't want to see it, okay? When I'm, when I rent movies, DVDs, I like to see the previews, but sometimes the previews are scary, so I mute, mute the button. This just startled me, you know, I'm just simply trying to close... You know, I, I, I logged out, and then that's, like, coming towards me, playing automatically, you know what I mean? I don't think, personally, that that's right, either. You know, you don't know who's out on the Internet. Children are out on the Internet. I mean, it should play automatically. You should have to choose to play it. It should just play. That's just my personal thing. For over a week now, I haven't been out on YouTube, the internet in general, that much. As I told you, I've done a lot of other shit. I'm still doing shit. It's gone all day yesterday. I went to the dentist and then I went to the mall. Dentist and mall day. Bought this beautiful dress for under 50 bucks. I don't even know. I might... The only way I can wear it to court is if I wear a black, a black shirt over it because it's sleeveless and it's low cut, you know. But I love it. And, you know, I also, the other day, bought Boyfriend Jeans, Style & Company. Size 14 that I wore all day yesterday to make sure that they wouldn't go up the crotch, wouldn't be at bothersome at all, and they're not, and they are going to be cut into comfortable, comfortable, comfortable shorts, people. I might even do it on a video. I might show you. I might show you wearing my, the pants, and then I will go off, off camera, put something else on, take the pants off, show you the pants, and watch, have you watch me cutting these lovely pants. They cost $25, which is cheaper than, you know. Remember, I cannot buy just any shorts. I need comfortable shorts. Remember, 
I might have paid half of $25 at Walmart, but I wound up selling the shorts, I mean, last summer, to my mom because the shorts did not fit me. And then another pair of shorts were longer, and they were like $40, I don't know what they were, $30, something, and I, and I wound up cutting them, and realized after the fact, cause I tried wearing them one day, that they weren't comfortable, that they, they, you know, went up the crotch, so that was a waste, you know.